it's Addie, and today we are watching Saving Private Ryan. I don't think I am emotionally prepared for this movie, but I do have tissues ready just in case. I will probably end up using them. Um, I don't have a lot of prior knowledge of this movie going into it, so let's just dive in. This is Saving Private Ryan. Gosh, this is all, only the first scene of the movie, and I can already tell that this movie is going to make me cry. I know we've seen some main characters at this point, but it truly looks like they're all gonna die here. Oh. I should honestly just prepare myself. Like anytime I see a person, I should just prepare myself that they're going to die. Ah. Wow. The fact that the water is just red. <sighs> Literally, it's just raining red. Uh, just filled with blood. Uh, oh. But he has to put it on. You stay here! You're dead now! Yeah. Ah! Mm. Oh, he's just dragging. Ah. This movie is really not shying away from the gruesome aspects of war. They're just gunning down anyone who comes close. Do you recognize where we are? Wherever we're supposed to be, but no one else is! We do not hold the beach! Sure party! Oh, oh my gosh, he is no longer alive. Oh, and that's not working. We stopped the bleeding! Well, this is all that's made it? Not enough. It's not enough. Jesus! Don't take your don't take it off your yeah, oh my gosh. Oh, is that a mirror? Oh, that's so smart. Covering fire! I also just can't even imagine like how scared they are to go through all of this. I mean, this is like terrifying to watch. Less, like, have to go I thought you were my mother. And we're only, um, 30 minutes in. I mean, the water is just red. Just all of the water. Oh, Ryan. Does that mean that he's still al al alive? Since the movie is saving Private Ryan? I could be completely wrong. The untimely death of your son. No words uh, so they're all you just typing those letters? Oh, gosh, gosh. This is only 30 minutes into the movie. Uh, even just typing those letters, like, I imagine that's what they're doing all day, every day. These two men mm -hmm. in Normandy. This man was killed last week in New Guinea. Right. The three men are brothers, sir. This afternoon, their mother's going to be getting all three telegrams. <sighs> There's a fourth brother, the youngest. He parachuted in with the 101st Airborne night before the invasion. Is he alive? We don't know. We have to give her hope. Is this the mother of the four men? This is not good news. All four of them were in the same company in the 29th Division, but we 
split them up after the Sullivan brothers stopped. Now, assuming Private Ryan even survived the jump, in fact, he's probably KIA. And frankly, sir, we go sending some sort of rescue mission. They're gonna be KIA, too. Boys lie. We are gonna send somebody to find him. And we are gonna get him the hell out of there. We're gonna save Private Ryan. It was a tough assignment. That's why you got it. Yes, sir. This one's straight from the top. Oh. We got anybody who speaks French? Not that I know of. I'm looking for Corporal Upham yes, Timothy E. Upham, can you speak French and German? Yes, sir. But you've been reassigned to me. Grab yes, your sir. gear. Do you have a problem with that, Corporal? No, sir. I haven't held a weapon since basic training, sir. Did you fire the weapon in basic training? Yes, sir. Well, then get your gear. Sir, may I bring, may I bring my typewriter, sir? If anything happens to him, I will riot. You don't need to carry those. You'll need that. At this point in the movie, I am thankful for the goats for bringing a smile on my face. See, every time you salute the captain, you make him a target for the Germans. Don't do Did it. You know? Especially you know? when I'm standing next to him. Capiche? What's your book about? It's supposed to be about the bonds of the brotherhood that developed between soldiers during war. I mean, where's the sense of risking the lives of the eight of us to save one guy? Think about the poor bastard's mother. You got a mother. Sarge has got a mother. I bet even the captain's got a mother. We all have orders and we have to follow them. That supersedes everything, including your mothers. Especially if you think the mission's Fubar. What's Fubar? Oh, it's German. You never heard of that. This entire mission is a serious misallocation of valuable military resources. You don't gripe at all? I don't gripe to you, Riven. Mm -hmm. Gripes go up, not down. Maybe I was a major. I say this is an excellent mission, sir. I feel heartfelt sorrow for the mother of Private James Ryan. I'm willing to lay down my life. He's good. I love him. Where's the captain from? You figure that one out, you got yourself a nice prize. 300 bucks <laughs> last I heard. Somebody must know where he's from, what he did for a living. But I don't have a clue. Woo! Oh. oh. Oh, man. Oh, with a baby? Oh, oh, several children. Can't take the kids. Are you nuts? Listen to the captain! Kapoza, give that kid back up! I can't see your life near my knees, sir! Kapoza, get the kid back up there! So now we have the girl. Oh, my gosh. This cannot... We're not here to do the kids. We're here to follow f***ing orders! Oh, my gosh. He was just holding the kid, too. Damn it! Where'd that come from? That's rad, B. I wouldn't venture out there, fellas. Uh, Help me up, I can walk, I can walk. Kabarzo, stay still! Oh my god, I trust in me. Oh my gosh, he's gonna, he's gonna it. shoot him. It's, it's to my dad. It's got blood oh. on it. Oh no. Oh my gosh. I will feel a little better when she's with her family. Okay. That's why we can't take children. Get out of your men. We'll form up in the northwest um. corner of the square. Tower, hustle back here. Right now, go! Yeah, they're going to start having a lot of resentment for this mission. I don't feel like anywhere is safe. That's not, that can't be. We're here looking for a private James Ryan. He's part of your outfit. Any chance at all you policed him up? Get Ryan up here. Ryan! Front and center! We're meeting Ryan. Yeah, they're all going to hate him because of this. I told you he was an asshole. Private, I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. Your brothers are dead. Order is to come get you because you're going home. Oh my god, my brothers are dead. How did they die? They were killed in action. It can't be. My brothers are still in grammar school. James Francis Ryan. Sam Frederick Ryan, Minnesota. This isn't even the right. What does that guy? Does that mean my brothers are okay? Yeah, I'm sure they're fine. I mean, this is just oh, a big really? foul up. I'm sorry for the trouble. I just they had to go through all of this for the wrong guy. Get home. They lost one of their friends because it was a mix up. I'm sure as hell could use you around here, but I understand what you're doing. <laughs> I got a couple of brothers myself. Find them, get them home. What's with your hand? Started in Portsmouth when they brought us down for embarkation and comes and goes. Well, you may have to get yourself a new line of work. Um, shot the foot oh, the he's rewriting the, the note. I was wondering if they would send it bloody like that, but... When you end up killing one of your men, you tell yourself it happened. So you could save the lives of two or ten others. You know? That's 
for this mission. Do you know how many men I've lost under my command? 94. I've saved the lives of 10 times that many. Maybe even 20, right? So you rationalize making the choice between the mission and the men. Except this time the mission is man. Just one man. Because the truth is I wouldn't trade 10 Ryans for one Becky or one Caparzo. There it goes again. Are you all right? Why don't you get some sleep? So where are you from, Kevin? What's the pool up to? I think it's around 300 turns. Well, what it gets up to 500, I'll give you the answers and we'll split the money. How about that? We'll wait until it gets up to 1,000, sir. Yes. I wonder if we don't live there. They both benefit. 500? 500 would be good. <laughs> 500 is good. We're looking for a private James Ryan. A lot of guys coming in out of here. Up him. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Check out that squad. See if Ryan's in it. I imagine it, there's no easy way to find Ryan. 22 guys dead. All that for a general? One man. A lot of that going around. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, you might want to check these out, sir. Dog tag. Start going through those. I think I got a winner. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Ryan. That's Ryan, and it's fresh. <laughs> all right, you know what that means? Don't chips. All right, all right, all right. Put them back in there. Ryan! Anybody know Ryan? <laughs> Madison, pal around with Orion from C Company. You're going to have to speak up. You're going to have to speak up, so sir. Good. My uh, hearing is not goes. so good. You know Private Ryan? James Francis. Ryan. No, no, no. James Francis Ryan. Write this down. Yeah, of course I know him, sir. Is he alive? We missed our drop zone by about 20 miles. Ran into a colonel who was gathering up men to go to oh, no. Ramel. Okay. Thank, th thank, thank you. Right, thank you. Read, read, thank you. <laughs> read the thank you message. The target has always been Cherbourg. So he's going to try to get his armor across the Murderhead River. That makes any village on that river with an intact bridge solid gold real estate. Looks like we got something in that. And I'm thinking we detour this way, quick and quiet. The crowds will never even know we were here. We can still skip it and accomplish our mission. We just want to leave it here so they can ambush the next company that comes along? Our objective is to win the war. I don't have a good feeling about this one. When was the last time you felt good about anything? Here's that. We can't let him go in by himself. You hook to the right, I'll go up to the middle. Who's going left? No one wants to do this. Who's going left? I'll do it. We advance and keep pressure on him until he has to change out his barrels. I have a bad feeling about this. Mm. Oh. Oh. Uh. Get up, get up oh, who is this? Fine, you're going on a hospital. Uh, more salt, more salt. Put my legs up. More salt. Put my legs up. How's it look? You're gonna be okay. I got an exit wound. <laughs> I'm, I'm the hole in. That's the size of an acorn. Oh my god, my liver! Tell us what to do. Tell us how to fix you. I could use a little morphine. Give it to him. Here you go. Here it comes. Mama, I want to go home. I want to go home. Mama. Is it better that they'll have to rewrite? Oh, gosh. First, make a mark and cover Wade's body for grave detail. Ask this piece of shit if he's the one who shot Wade. Oh, he didn't even know. Get it clean. Wow. So, are you gonna let them kill him? This is not right. You can help him with the bodies. What is happening? I also imagine that he feels personally responsible for his death <laughs> because he's the one that had them do this. Oh, and he's not gonna cry in front of them. I like America. To march a thousand paces in that direction. He Thank turns you. himself into the first Allied Thanks. patrol he comes across. He's okay. gonna turn around and shoot. Yeah, only if he doesn't get picked up by his own Vermont first and then thrown back into circulation. But I guess that was the uh, decent thing to do. Get your gear. Sir, that was one hell of a call coming to take this nest, but I swear, I hope Mama Ryan's real happy knowing that little Jimmy's life is a little bit more important than two of our guys. Robin, get back in line. I'm not gonna ask you again, soldier. Captain! Oh my oh gosh, gosh. oh my gosh. You shoot me over, Ryan? No, I'm gonna shoot you because I don't like you. Who wanted my leg? And give me that million I'm gonna dollars shoot you, you big oh goddamn God. mouth! Don't, so, we cannot lose another man. Gosh, they're no, all just going to point their guns right to each other. Wait, what is it, uh, $300? I'm a school teacher. 
little town called Adley, Pennsylvania. Coach the baseball team in the springtime. Back home, and I tell people what I do for a living, and I figure. So I guess I've changed. So sometimes I wonder if I've changed so much, my wife is even going to recognize me whenever it is I get back to her. To tell her about days like today. I don't know anything about Ryan. I don't care. If that earns me the right to get back to my wife, well, then that's my mission. I just know that every man I kill, the farther away from home I feel. Oh, that's no. not cover! Oh, gosh. Oh gosh, they're right there. Oh. We're coming out! That was a recon element, second SS. Captain Miller. Ryan, first of 506. James Francis, Ryan? Yes, sir. How'd you guess that? He's been looking for you this whole movie. Oh my gosh, and they just they just walked on to them basically. They all have a lot of hate for you, sir. So what are you guys all about? Well... We're here for him. A very specific mission. James Francis Ryan of Iowa. Hey, no, Thank that's goodness, the right it's the right Ryan. What's this about? Your brothers were killed in combat. Which, which ones? All of them. All of them. You came all the way out here to tell me that? They were ordered to. You're, you're going home. Our orders are to bring you back. I have my orders too, sir. They don't include me abandoning my post. The chief of staff says it does. Sir, our orders are to hold this bridge at all costs. Private, your outfit wants to stay. That's one thing. Two of our guys already died trying to find you, all right? It doesn't make any sense, sir. Why? Why me? Why do I deserve to go? Why not any of these guys? They all fought just as hard as me. Tell her that when you found me, it was with the only brothers that I have left. Ugh. And that there's no way I was going to desert them. There's no way I'm leaving this bridge. I understand his decision, and I respect his decision. But I un also understand how two of their people already died, and they're going to be very angry about that. Part of me thinks the kid's right. He wants to stay here, fine, let's leave him and go home. But another part of me thinks we stay and actually make it out of here. Someday we might look back on the Saving Private Ryan was the one decent thing we were able to pull out of this whole mess. We all earned the right to go home. I'm thinking they're gonna try to whip around the flanks. Unless we can draw them up this main road here. If we do that, we got a fighting chance at the flanks. Hit them hard as we can, one-on-one, -on -one and fall back to the bridge. If we can, I'd like to get you up in that bell tower. And it's just that everything depends on getting the tank down this main road for us to knock out, right? We could hit the tank in the tracks. We could try a sticky bomb. So are you making that up? Yeah, I don't no, know what this is. Man. Standard issue GI sock. Cram it with as much comp B as it can hold. Coat the whole thing with axle grease. It should stick. Sticky bomb. There it is. So we are going to save Private Ryan just in a different way than we originally expected. This is the Alamo. They push us back this far. Last man alive. Close the bridge. Where am I during all this? Somewhere safe. I'm two feet away from me. That's not negotiable. Oh. We have to save you. So you got to be Johnny on the spot with the ammo. You all right? <sighs> yeah. It's going to be a real show, huh? Take it easy. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be dropping things right now. Mm. Are you all right, sir? Yeah, I'm just keeping the rhythm. Is it true you were a, a teacher back home? See, that's something I could never do, no. Not after the way me and my brothers treated our teachers. We had a thousand kids like you. I can't see my brother's faces. I've been trying, and I, and I can't see their faces at all. Has that ever happened? Mm -hmm. You gotta think of a context. Think about something specific. I think of something specific. I think of my, my hammock in the backyard, my wife pruning the rose bushes. Tell me about your wife and those rose bushes. You know that one I saved just for me. This might be it. I think this is it. He sees Tiger tanks, two of them. Panzer tanks, two of them. Infantry, 50 plus change. Oh, it's starting. A ton of infantry, Captain. I don't know if they took the bait, though. Take the bait. You got any more of that? Okay. Okay. Panzers didn't take the bait. The infantry's moving to the left. Maybe this one, though? The longer the scene goes on, the more anxious I feel. Hopefully it's sticky.
all of this is Ryan okay? Get off of me! Yeah, I'm fine too, Captain. Get a grenade in there! To be the Lord, my strength will teach my hands to war. Am I finished to fight? My high tower and my deliverer. I really hope nothing happens. I mean, I hope nothing happens to any of them, but. No, 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 no. No, I was worried about that. Fucking get out! The 20 millimeters killing us. We gotta try to flank it somehow. No, 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 no. I have a feeling that's going to keep happening. Oh, he has to run out. Oh, he does have to run out there. Oh, they're... Oh, they're right there. I'm out! They're in there. Help him. I don't think that's him. Just shoot. Please tell me. Please tell me it wasn't him. Who did they shoot? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That does work. Oh. 
has to go home to see his wife. Private Ryan is safe. Medic! We got a medic! The tank buster, sir. Angel's on our shoulders. What, sir? to die in movies. I'm not okay with that. Michael. He was a school teacher. All he wanted to do was to go back to his wife. Ah, and at the end, that was Private Ryan. My family is with me today. To be honest with you, I, I wasn't sure how I'd feel coming back. I think you said during that day on the bridge. I've tried to live my life the best I could. I have hoped that at least in your eyes, I've earned what all of you have done for me. Tell me I'm a good man. You are. That's the movie. Oh, I am a hot mess. Hey, it's Addie from a few days later after I recorded the movie. Um, I did want to hop on here because there was a huge part of the movie right at the end that I missed um, from first watching it. I think my emotions were just really high and I was trying to take in a lot at once and so I did miss this crucial part of the movie. But as I was editing, I realized that the guy who ended up killing um, John Miller was the same person that Miller let go earlier on in the movie and I completely missed that because there was just a lot going on um, but then that guy recognized Upham and he was the guy that Upham eventually did shoot and that was his first shot like the first time he used his gun I, I did miss that, uh, so I did feel like I needed to um, tell you that I recognized it the second time I watched it as I was editing, because um, really that moment ties in just like the whole movie and just Upham's, him realizing what all of the guys had gone through and just realizing like how war affects you. And I think he realized, understood at that moment how the other guys had been feeling the entire movie. Um, so I thought that was a really powerful moment that I just missed the first time. Um, but I did want to hop on here and tell you, as I was editing, I realized it and it kind of just blew my mind. Um, it blew my mind. I don't know if I was emotionally ready for that when I watched it the first time, but that was such an important part of the movie and I'm glad that I, uh, got it the second time. That was Saving Private Ryan. That was a really hard movie to watch. I'm so glad I watched it, but I, I, I stand firm with my statement that Tom Hanks is not allowed to die in movies. Um, that got me, that got me a lot. Um, going into this movie, I, I didn't know a whole lot about it. I knew that it was a war movie. I knew that Tom Hanks was in it. Um, but really I didn't know much else about it, but the movie has a great cast. Like. Basically, just in every scene, you're meeting like new characters that you recognize. Like Tom Hanks is in it, Matt Damon, Ted Danson was in it for a scene. Um, so many other people, they're all just escaping my brain right now. But so many people, great actors, well-known actors were in this movie. It's kind of crazy that all of them, I don't know, it's crazy to see all of them in the same movie. Um, what? Oh, gosh. I... I don't even know what I could say um, about this movie. It's just heart-wrenching and it really didn't shy away from any of the gruesome details and gruesome aspects of war. Like, did not shy away from it whatsoever. Even just that first, one of the first scenes that of them landing on the beach. I mean, that alone was like 30 minutes and it was just 30 minutes of pure just anxiety and so many emotions and it was just back to back. and. They just didn't have a break, which is very accurate. And 
it would realistically go on even longer than that. Um, the movie was shot beautifully, so impactful. Um, I honestly feel like I'm so like, I'm, oh, my brain is almost kind of out of it right now because um, that ending really got me. So I, um, I'm really just like losing all tracks of my thoughts. Um, all I can say is that was truly an incredible movie. There, there are so many other things that I could say, but I just truly don't know if I can form sentences right now. But it was a beautiful movie. I'm so thankful I saw it. And I think this movie is just so impactful. Well, that was Saving Private Ryan. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and we will see you next time.